Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to today's video where I will be talking about a topic that I really love and that has basically taught me a lot in my uh, UX UI design career and also in my web development career, which is basically mastering layouts. Because if you have a good idea of how to work with layouts, um, then you can basically design very well. Uh, design responsively very well um, and you can also build right it's going to give you this 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 mindset um, that being a designer is not just drawing um, curves and illustrations and being creative on the canvas it's it's about following certain rules that you have on the screen right um, when I was small I used to really love to draw like um, architecture, like buildings. I used to love drawing uh, blueprints, um, airplanes, like from above, uh, streets, cities, you know, doing these types of things. And this kind of, this kind of mixes with that because at, just seeing by this first title uh, page, you can see that there's like these grids here. Um, there's this grid, there's these lines here. And it kind of looks like, you know, a little city, right? Like there's these little streets here. So these, these types of things um, fascinate me. And if they fascinate too, uh, fascinate you too, um, please feel free to uh, you know, write that down in the comments. I'd love to know. And we can talk a little bit more about that. Uh, but basically, yeah, layouts are basically rules for design, web design fundamentals. And on the screen right here, this is a, a frame in Figma. And we have about, I believe, 12 or 16 um, different columns here and basically it's about creating a design in these columns right I have this title right here mastering layouts and I have this subtitle right here web design fundamentals and I try to fit them in a amount of columns here and here and I try to keep them at a specific space between each other right so this is just a quick example right another way of looking at it is looking at like a like a dirty room or or a, a, a dirty office, for example, you see a bunch of clutter, you see stuff on the wall all mixed up, mashed up. Um, you see like this broken cabinet down here. Uh, there's like, I think like a shoe or a telephone down here. There's trash on the floor. There's not, there's no alignment here. If you were to draw lines here, right? If I were to um, get a, a pencil tool, right? And let's just, let me get my pencil tool and I were to draw different lines here. You would see, actually, let's make this like red that you can see. You see like different, there's lines here. They have some, there's like some nice alignment here and here and here and here. But um, on the floor, there's no alignment. Here, there's no alignment. The sheets are very, you know, messed up. The papers up here are like, uh, you know, not perfectly aligned. This one is a little bit more to the side. This one is going straight up. This one is also going a little bit more to the side. This frame is going a little bit more to the side. This one is more straight up. So these are just some examples of bad alignment, a, ba a dirty room, right? So, but if we were to go here and we were to draw these same lines, let's just use a different color for reference. We see like this nice alignment here and then we have like this nice bed here that looks that's aligning with the that's aligning with the desk so it's all going like diagonal and then on and then we have like this this window that's really nice and straight and the laptop is basically right aligned with the window and with the other space right and then we have this cabinet here with all the, the books Obviously, the books aren't so aligned with each other, but that's, that's okay. It, it kind of has its own aesthetic because the main frame that's holding the books is aligned. And that's the important thing. And you see, like, there's stuff on top that's also aligned. So you can see kind of, kind of the consistency between the two, right? This one is a little bit crazy. And this one is nice and dandy and organized. Very beautiful. Very, it looks very comfortable to work there, right? So this is a good analogy when it comes to uh, learning about layouts, right? 
And then we have, for example, layout in web design, which is basically what you guys want to talk about, right? So um, in theory, this, this hero section right here kind of looks not so ugly, um, but there is a lot. It doesn't look like it's good design, right? It doesn't look organized. Why is that? Could you kind of maybe pause this video and try to guess what's going on here that's not so organized? Because I can tell you the answer. And it's not following basic alignment um, procedures. If you go up here to the nav bar and you select these different things, they have different spacing between each other. So if I were to click on this testimonials, see it would be 29 pixels apart, 39 pixels apart here and 19 pixels. Right. A good fix to do this is just to go like this and tidy up everything. And now everything will be 29. We can make it 30 pixels and maybe even straighten it up to be the same distance between the left and the right. Another thing here is that this is kind of doesn't have its own place. It has to be somewhere, I would say, with this text. And I would say that it would be better if the text was aligned left and not centered because it's, it's basically a stack with two things inside and it's best if it's just aligned to the left because the, um, there's, a, there's a principle that we can look at that if we have like different boxes with different sizes and they all have the same distance, it's always best to, to, you know, align things on one side and not keep them like, for example, like this and leave an empty space, right? So this one, something like this would look actually much better if we were to line everything on the very left. And this is following a specific grid procedure, right? We have 12 different columns and we want to make everything match with these columns, right? This is something that we can easily do in Figma um, by uh, clicking F and choosing a desktop frame that you want to use. I can choose, for example, this desktop one. And then with this desktop one, what we can do is just add a layout grid. It's going to start with a grid where you see these squares. But what I do is I always turn it into columns, uh, make it 12. Oh, sorry, not the margin. Make the count to 12. So we have 12 columns. And then we can make the margin like 120, for example, so it hugs right in the middle very nicely. And let's make this color a little bit, you know, nicer for the eye. And with this, so basically going back to the very beginning where I was talking about, you know, design is not just creativity, but following rules. We have different rules that we want to do, right? Let's say that we're, we're building a, a quick landing page. Let's make this frame a little bit longer. And the we have different rules. We want to make an, a nav bar. We want to make a hero section. Or let me just make this easier. We want to make a nav bar, a hero section, a logos section to showcase kind of the logos underneath the hero. Um, we can add some, some main features of this app. Uh, we can add the pricing, FAQ, and footer. Right, so these are the ma the first main rules that we want to follow, and we want to we want to build these things inside of these columns. So we don't want anything to go, let's say, um, we don't want anything to go out like this. That it's we want everything to be, you know, like this, in between the columns, you know, something like this. Everything uniform and in between the columns, something like this would look nice, right? They both have the same distance from each other. Let's make it 20. And one can be longer than the other, but it still looks uniform and nice. Okay, so first thing that we want to do is we want to draw a nav bar. So the nav bar, we can, you know, do something like this, go like that. Everything is just starting off with rectangles. And I'm going to make the rectangle like a little bit blue and put like a 20% opacity. So I want to start off very blocky and then 
do the actual, you know, details. So first off, a nav bar. The nav bar, what's it going to have? It's going to have the logo. So let's just draw a blocky little logo like this. Boom. It's going to have the logo and it's going to have two buttons. So these two buttons can cover these two columns. And then it's going to have a space for other navigational buttons, something like this, right? So we have that covered. And if we were to press Control G, we can see how it would look like very blocky. And then after that, we have our hero section. Let's make it a little bit lighter so we can tell the difference, right? So we have our hero section. It's going to be pretty large, like this. And then in this hero section, what do we want? We want to have the, we want to have a header that's like maybe going to be two lines. And then we're going to have like smaller text. It's going to be like a paragraph text going underneath. Maybe we can make the header one line so like this. And then underneath that, we're, we're going to have two buttons, right? We're going to have button one and button two. And then at the right side, we can add some type of visual. We can make the visual pretty big. It can be some type of video that showcases the app's functions. We can make it even more, you know, like this. So if we were to press Control G on the Mac, it would look like this, right? So we're, we're, we're getting there. Um, logos, how would that look like? They would kind of be the same size as the button. So we would actually put them like this. And we can just, you know, duplicate everything and match them to be two columns wide. So as you can see, I'm just following these rules of the columns. Then we have the main feature. So we're already halfway there. So with the main feature, we're going to also have like a, like a main, like a title section and a paragraph. And we're going to have maybe some, some images that would be like, let's say four columns wide. And each one would have a description with, with a button, right? And if you even want to make this even better, we can change the button colors to something else so that we kind of know that it's a button so we can make it maybe you know, uh, like something dark like this. So we have our feature section. Uh, then we want to have our pricing section. Pricing, again, we're going to need a title and, and a description. And as you can see, I'm like making new things and I'm putting a space between everything. So for, the, for example, we have already, we, we know that the nav bar and the hero section are going to be together, but after that, the, the, the logos are going to be, let's say, 60 pixels away from the hero section. And then this one is going to be, let's say, 120. And then what we can do is for the next one, it doesn't have to be 120, or maybe it does. Maybe we can put it 120. So this is going to be 120 pixels away from this last so let me just write it down for reference. 120 pixels uh, distance. Let me make this a blue color so it matches with our little wireframe. This is going to be 60 pixels. Right? So we can see this difference. All right, so then we have our features, and now what we were doing was the pricing. So the pricing. We're going to have, let's say, let's say we're going to have, yeah, three sets of pricing. So we're basically going to do the same type of sizing in terms of width with these three things. We want to make them longer like this. And then the buttons this time are going to go inside. So I'm just going to duplicate this and bring this to the front by clicking this um, close bracket. And so this is going to be, for example, price one. Let's bring this to the front. Price two, price three. And then each one is going to have, let's say, different descriptions for each price. It can be centered 
and it can be like six description points so it doesn't have to be so big now and we can make it a distance of about 60 pixels here and about half of it to the title and then close it like this let's put this to the back let's delete these so we don't have to build them again and move this like so all right so we got our pricing now we got our F now we need our faq so let's just do the same thing let's just copy this heading bring it down by 120 let's just bring this for reference 120 pixels and then we need an faq so faq is going to be title and answer right so it's going to be we're going to make the faq on the right side why not so we're going to have question and then we're going to have the answer like this and then we're going to have question 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 so this is going to look like this when it when it opens up right so we have maybe some questions are going to be longer than the other and it doesn't matter if it, they're not so if it doesn't you know match the column um so to say like specifically it just has to have a good you know distance between each other we can also just delete this and create make everything open right so i can do this and then i can change the the length of this a little bit so that this is a little bit shorter this can go like this and so on and so forth let's just say we have three questions Oh, what's the width here? 30. So let's just bring it down by 30. Perfect. This can be shorter, for example, and this can be a little bit longer. So it's starting to look good. And then the last thing is the footer. The footer, we just, let's just bring this down, have some space, and we need a nice filled space for the footer, not as big as, as the hero section, and then we just need the logo, right? We need the logo somewhere. And we're going to have some navigational points. We can even have, we can even make a small footer like this, the navigational points like this. Maybe put some social things as a circular icon by going here and making it, you know, circular in a way doesn't doesn't have to be perfect we're just sketching technically right and then in the right side we can add again these these two types of buttons and maybe we can make them a little bit smaller something like this and then voila we have our footer Right. So um, that's basically it with the, that's basically how I build, like if I were to draw something and I needed to draw like a quick, you know, wireframe really quick, that's basically how I, I would do it just based off of, um, based off of, uh, you know, alignments and, and columns in Figma. And it's really quick to do. This is a really good design technique to learn just to start doing the best type of exercise actually is to look at different websites and copy them just like in this block form don't think about text don't think about colors don't think about buttons just use rectangles like i did B building with rectangles um, is the way to go and i hope you guys learned a lot in this video this is just a quick tutorial um, if you have any questions please feel free to to reach out to me i'll be more than happy to help and yeah, hope you guys have a wonderful day and hope you guys learned a lot today. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.